Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Jaden Storm Coach and Team Shadow Strike, and this is going to be a little NSFW, as they say, not safe for work. Um, <clears throat> um, so I would make sure that you are watching this in a place where it will not um, bring attention to yourself or that you are in a uh, place that you can watch things in your own privacy or, you know, whatever. Um, first off, I want to mention, I am still, um, I'm working on finishing up some decks. There will be more deck profiles coming very, very soon. Um, specifically, Luard, there's going to be some new buddy fight content. Um, there is going to be new deck profiles. I'm just waiting on getting a last couple of minutes of things together. Um, I've been working on another project, which I will be doing a separate video on that that I want to share with you guys. Um, so I've just been incredibly busy trying to do this. And then the other day, uh, a comment was posted to the channel that I instantly deleted because I knew it would be misconstrued and I didn't want people to uh, hear the story from someone else. I wanted them to hear it from me directly, and that's why I'm making this video. There was a video not too long ago. Well, th this was actually – it was actually it was a video that I watched a long time ago. And um, I, I recently made a video basically talking about having respect for people regardless of what you think of them or their lifestyle or whatever. And apparently I'm going to have to rehash back over that, which is fine. <clears throat> Anywho, and I'm going to do my very best to stay calm, but this is a subject that I am very, very passionate about, and one that gets me very angry very fast, so if the, if you just don't want to be a part of this conversation, that is fine, I, I completely understand, but this is something that I just will not let go. I've done very well, I've been work. I, I actually have... Um, improved on my anger quite a bit, but there are certain things that just I will not budge on, and this is one of them. There was a video that I watched. I don't know how long ago it was, but it, it, it's been under a year or around there somewhere. Someone sent me a, um, I, someone sent me a clip of this church known as the Westboro Baptist Church, and it was this group of people that was protesting outside of a funeral for a fallen soldier who died in Iraq, who gave his life for his country. And um, they, these people were, albeit not right next to the funeral, but they were a, a distance away where they could still be seen protesting his funeral because he was gay. And the second I read this, I went, what? The comment that posted up was apparently that someone had misconstrued my words. Said that you started a conversation we're talking about where you wanted to shoot somebody. And the second I saw that, I deleted it because that is not true. What I said was, I have zero respect for this woman. This woman who was the leader or the advocate who was interviewed on also Fox News. I'm going to put a link to that interview that she did in the description. Go check it out. And if by the end of it, steam isn't shooting out of your ears, I you, I guess you're a much more calm person than me. But um, this woman is the epitome of everything that you can say is evil. I do not care if you're a boy. I don't care if you're a girl. I don't care if you sleep with guys. I don't care if you sleep with girls. I don't care if you sleep with boys and girls. I don't care if you're a boy trapped in a girl's body. I don't care if you're a girl trapped in a boy's body. I don't care if your thing is to have your sexual partner dress up in a French maid's uniform, tie you up, drag you in the middle of the forest, hang you upside down from a tree, and brutalize your, your genitalia with a dust buster. I do not care what you do or... How you live your life. You deserve the same amount of respect that anyone else does down to common decency. This was a soldier who gave up his life to serve his country. He missed time with his family. He missed time with his loved ones. He missed out on his social life. He missed out on with time with his friends. 
and he went to serve his country, the most selfless act that someone can do, in my view, and I don't care if he was gay or not, he deserves the utmost respect for serving his country, and, gay, and he died for his country. He was a hero, and then he comes home, and all his family wants to do is put him to rest with respect. And these jackoffs want to stand at a decent distance away and scream and hold up signs that says, God hates fags, burn in hell, semper fi fags. Who the fuck do you think you are? What I said was, if I was a member of this fallen hero's family, if I was one of his friends, and I was at that funeral, and I saw her or anybody doing this, I would march down to them, and I'd start handing out ass whoopings. I don't give a fuck who's there. And if I could get my hands on that woman, I proudly would have beaten the piss out of her. Because I don't care that she is a woman. And I might lose some support there. But if I am the father of that young, bo that young man, and I'm just trying to lay my son to rest with dignity... And you are doing everything in your power to protest that? You're damn right I'm going to be pissed. You're damn right I'm going to fight back. Because you are doing the one thing that is the most selfish thing that I can begin to think. Protesting outside of a fucking funeral for a soldier who gave his life for his country because you don't agree with the fact that he likes guys. That is so fucking stupid and lame. And the fact that no one in this group was attacked is a miracle. Because if it would have been someone from my family, oh boy, I would have, I can legitimately close my eyes and vision me, visioning me. If I was this father, squeezing lit the literal life out of this woman and s curb stomping her. Because she is disrespecting someone who served their country to preserve freedom. And the fact that she thinks that just because she does not agree with someone being gay gives her the right to protest outside of a funeral is wrong. It is the epitome of evil. And to watch this woman talk, and I did some research. These are people who have said, thank God for 9-11. Thank God, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if this woman was on television the next day after the Orlando nightclub shooting someone's, and someone from that church saying, thank God for that. That is how, dis that, this is how despicable, this is how evil this woman is and how disgusting I find this church. I have no problem with religion. Someone might be watching this going, oh, Jaden has a problem with religion. I... Personally, you guys have probably seen this cross hanging from my necklace. This was given to me by my grandmother. The reason I wear it is because it was given to me by my grandmother. This, as a religious symbol, means nothing to me. And I say that with respect to any of you who are Christian or Catholic or whatever. I personally don't care if someone is Catholic, Christian, Methodist, Buddhist, Jewish. I don't care. I have friends, I have friends that are Christian, I have friends that are Catholic, I have friends that are Jewish, and you know what? I support them, and I am, and I would defend their right 
to practice whatever religion they wish. And I have no problem with it. And when they ask me my views, I will gladly tell them. In, a, in, in this kind of conversation, my teammate Christian, he's a Christian, I've said this many times, we have had discussions on religion all the time, and it never, ever gets hostile. It stays just like this. It stays calm. No one starts yelling. No one starts pointing the finger and the you're wrong. It is a conversation, not a screaming debate. I don't have a problem with religion. And I will defend someone's right to be religious and to follow whatever beliefs they want. That's the beauty of this country. If, if you want to um, study Buddhism, that is your right. Go for it. Have a ball. If you want to be um, one of these people, and I know one of these people who practice the actual, um, I know it sounds crazy um, to some, but there are people who actually live by the Jedi Code from Star Wars. You know what? It doesn't matter whether or not you agree with that or not. It's their choice. It's their life. It doesn't hurt you. It's their life. And we live in a world nowadays where everybody has got to just, if it's not okay with me, then it's wrong, and it's morally irreprehensible. I do not agree with this, so I'm going to say shame on you, or you're crazy, or you're wrong, or whatever. And it's, I just, I do not understand this mentality. But what I said... What I said is if this woman had shown up to a funeral for my brother, my or someone in my family that gave their life for their country and was gay or whatever reason and was protesting, I'd have went down there and started handing out ass whoopings. Because I don't care if you disagree with someone's lifestyle choices. You don't interfere in family's personal affairs. That's just, that is, I don't give a fuck what your religion is. You do not have the right to do that. These people should have been arrested. These people should have been sued. This woman deserves nothing short of being thrown in the street and having people kick the living shit out of her. Because what she did was the epitome of evil and disgusting. It was, it's morally disgusting. <clears throat> I do not care. I have friends from every kind of breach of life. I have friends that are straight, I have friends that are gay, I have friends that are bisexual, I know people and are friends with people who are transsexual. And you know what? I'm friends with the person, not how they live their life. With your friends, you normally make friends because you guys share common interests and you meet each other through those interests, interests like people who play card games are normally friends with people who play card games because you meet these people at your locals, at tournaments, or gatherings where you're there playing card games. Christian, he attends church regularly. I don't. And, you know, that is fine. That is okay. I respect his choice. He respects mine. And... I'm not saying that I'm against him going to church or anybody. My stance on that is, it is your life. If it is what makes you happy, then I say do it. As long as you aren't hurting anybody and you are not forcing anybody against their will to participate. If it fits those two categories then you have my support, and I would tell you to do it. That is what was meant by that comment. And I could have... 
I, <clears throat> I could have gone on. And I could. Because this, if this woman knocked on my front door, I would probably punch her right in the nose. I realize what I just said that might sound hypocritical. But she is not doing it in a way that is respectable. If she does not agree with homosexuality, if she does not agree with soldiers, because part of the interview that I'll put down there, she was against people who went to war and, was, and said those people would burn in hell because they went to fight for their country. I don't care if you have a problem with that. Going on television, writing articles, going on the news, and spreading the word that they are sinners and they're going to burn in hell is wrong. And if she started that crap with me, that would be my response, and I would get right in her face. Because she acts like she's all high and mighty, and she's she was God's warrior for justice. And if the God that she's talking about is the ruler of this universe, then we're already fucked. And I don't want anything to do with him. But if I, want, if, if I chose to believe in a God, I would want to believe in the God that I hear people talk about. One who is forgiving. One who is loving. One who loves people for who they are. Not the one that she is spinning with this church that does nothing but spew bullshit. And poison. Straight poison into society. That's what they did here. That is what I said. Whether you choose to believe it or not, I can't control those are my feelings. It's not going to change. What she did was wrong. Period. And so help me God, if there is one person who says, it is their right to protest however they want, as long as they're... No. I am all about peaceful protests. But you sure as hell do not do it outside of a funeral that is for a soldier who went across the sea and fought to protect your freedom. I don't give a fuck if you agree with his lifestyle or not. He still fought for his country and by extension, you. Those are my feelings on it. They're not going to change. That's what they are. I find that entire church morally, morally disgusting and if I knew anybody that attended that church, I would not want anything to do with them. I don't care what, how they're tied to me. If I found, if I went to my locals, any of them now, and I found out I've had a friend for four years and supports this, I would literally tell them to never speak to me again. <clears throat> when I made the last video that I talked about things that are similar to this, there was a quote I used. And it was a quote from Ellen DeGeneres. And my grandma used to say it too before she passed away. And you know what? I truly believe it. Be kind to people. Be kind to one another. There is enough disgusting, vile crap in our world. Be a shining light of example. Be understanding. Be a friend. That's all that, you know... I don't understand why some people, their immediate reaction is just to be disgusting, cruel, 
and repugnant to people. I just, I just don't. I just don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. And I never will. So, be a friend to somebody who might need one. Be, be a, an example of the person that you want to meet. Be understanding. We are all the same, regardless of our lifestyle, our language, our religion, or where we come from. We are all the same. Try not to be judgmental. Be kind to one another. I hope this clears up any uh, misunderstandings. If I got a little too into this and maybe offended somebody, I'm sorry. But my intent was not to offend any of you. It was to get my thoughts out on this subject. And I'm sorry. I, it's not going to change. It is not going to change. It is not going to change. So I hope you guys take this to heart. I hope you take my, uh, my message here that I'm trying to send. I don't care if you agree with someone's lifestyle or not. They still, they still deserve common decency, common courtesy, and respect. That's it. I hope wherever you are, if you are one of these people who do get hated, hated on or you feel like you have no one to talk to, the team's email address, teamshadowstrike at gmail.com, T three A M Shadow Strike, all one word at gmail.com. Message me. I try to be a friend to everyone I can. Because I know the crap that's in this world. <clears throat> I know the stuff that people deal with. Because I've been on the receiving end of it too. And if you need a friend, I am here because I want, to, I want to do whatever I can to make people happier, regardless of what they believe in. So if you need a friend, you can drop a comment down below, and I will give you um, a, uh, the team's email address, or we can have a conversation. Because I truly believe if we would just work to be friends and be tolerant and understanding this world would be a better place. That's it. I hope if you if there is someone who listens to this and does need that, drop a drop a comment down there. I'll do the best I can. I'm not the best person in the world, but there's one thing that I am, and I'm a great listener. So if you do need someone to talk to, everybody, to all of my friends and followers, and the people who have watched my videos for a while, I'm here. I hope you're doing well, wherever you are. Um, I will be doing deck profiles again very, very soon. Um, I'm just finishing up some things, and there will be a couple other videos coming up, and um, I promise I will get back to it very shortly. I'm hoping to maybe film some tomorrow. So anyway, guys, thank you very much. I just wanted to get this out. This will be filmed on May 10th, and it will be posted on May 10th. So I hope wherever you are that you're doing well, you all are safe, um, and you uh, you don't live... If you do, unfortunately, live with some hate, know there are people out there who aren't like that, and there are people who want to be your friend. There's always a friend out there for everybody. And I hope if you guys need one, you'll let me be that friend. I'll see you guys later. If you haven't already, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. In the comment section below, um, tell me what you thought about this video. I will be putting a link to a interview that this woman did on Fox News. It's only about eight, nine minutes long. And it will talk about the funeral that I discussed in this video. And you can check it out for yourself if you'd like. Um, please check that out. Honestly, it, it's something that it, it's something that needs to be seen to show just how ugly the world can be at times. 
So, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you, and uh, leave comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys later when we can get back to talking about the fun things. And I'll see you all then.